Hello and welcome. In this video, I will do a short introduction of Centrifuge and a review of the Crowd Loan, Allocation and CFG token rewards. Thank you for subscribing. Centrifuge is a part of Polkadot ecosystem and it serves as a bridge between real-world assets and NFT technology on a blockchain. Centrifuge allows to bridge real-world assets with DeFi and tokenize these assets as NFTs. The users on Centrifuge Network will be able to tokenize their real-world assets to use them as a collateral and then to get liquidity, that means to take out a loan based on these collateralized tokenized real-world assets. For this purpose, Centrifuge developed the platform called TinLake. TinLake itself is actually a smart contract built on Ethereum and this smart contract turns real-world assets into NFTs. This way, users on TinLake platform get access to decentralized lending protocols, which is the core value proposition of Centrifuge Network. So this is TinLake, the lending platform where users can get liquidity based on their collateral, which is that tokenized real-world asset. Those assets which are utilizable on TinLake platform can be basically anything, a house, real estate, a car, but also outstanding invoices. Once all these assets are encrypted and tokenized, they have the potential to bring billions of dollars to Centrifuge Network, and that's essentially the use case of Centrifuge. In my opinion, the use case of Centrifuge is very progressive and innovative, and Centrifuge is its own niche within a broader DeFi field. I'm convinced that tokenization of assets from the real world is the direction where NFT technology is headed, so even though it might take a while until Centrifuge really kicks off, once it does, the market cap of Centrifuge could reach billions of dollars. And now Centrifuge Crowd Loan. The total allocation is 15%, that is 65.7 million CFG tokens. This is very decent allocation and I think Centrifuge eventually allocated more than originally planned since CFG token dumped recently and of course potential contributors can see that. CFG token is currently trading around $1, so the higher allocation for crowd loan rewards will hopefully compensate for a lower price of CFG token. Here is an example, if Centrifuge wins an auction with 5 million DOT, the base reward per 1 DOT would be 13.1 CFG tokens without bonuses. Naturally the lower total DOT, the higher CFG reward. Now there are four different bonuses for crowd loan contributors. The first one is early bird bonus 10%, which is only available within the first three days after Centrifuge launched the crowd loan. So this bonus will be available only until Saturday evening Central European time. Centrifuge also offers a referral bonus 5% for both the referrer and the referee. If you wish, you can use my referral link to get this 5% bonus. You can find the link in the description of this video. Thank you. Then there is a loyalty bonus 5%. All contributors who participated in Alter Crowd Loan on Kusama are eligible for this bonus. So, if you are planning to contribute to Centrifuge, use the same address using which you contributed KSM to Alter. And the last bonus is for heavy contributors who contribute more than 5000 DOT. The bonus is also 5% and who knows, later on, maybe also some nice and rare item in Canaria Birds Metaverse, as was the case with heavyweight contributors in Alter Crowd Loan. So without that heavyweight bonus, if you are eligible for 5% loyalty bonus and you also get 10% early bird bonus plus you also use a referral link, you will get as much as 20% bonus on the top of the base reward, which is pretty fine I think. So this is Centrifuge Contribution website, here on the top right connect your wallet. Here on this banner you can see how many hours left for early bird bonus and this bar indicates how many total DOT has been thus far collected out of 15 million DOT contribution cap. Here is the current base reward per 1 DOT, so at this moment the reward is 99.6 CFG tokens, but the reward will drop at least several times. And here are listed all the bonuses. Here you add your DOT contribution and if you use a referral link you will automatically have the referral code for 5% bonus entered here. And here is your estimated reward for your contribution, including all bonuses you are eligible for. But now there are two questions. The first one is, is it worth contributing to Centrifuge since we can already buy CFG tokens from the market? To this I would say yes, contributing to Centrifuge crowd loan will still be profitable if Centrifuge wins an auction with max 5 million DOT, which would bring the reward 13 CFG tokens per 1 DOT. But then again, can we be sure that Centrifuge does not collect more than those 5 million DOT? No, we can't, at least not at this moment, but later maybe yes. 
And this brings me to the second question, which is, would it be better to delay the contribution maybe by a week to see what will be the total dot in centrifuge crowd loan? Because in one week we will know with more certainty what will be the final CRG reward per one dot. Remember, there is still one more week before the bidding in the sixth auction starts. The auction starts on December 23rd and ends on December 30th, so there is still more than enough time to wait how the total dot in centrifuge crowd loan develops. I think this is eventually the best strategy, but there is one drawback of delaying the contribution and that is giving up 10% early bird bonus. I have put aside some portion of my dot just for centrifuge crowd loan and from that I have already contributed 30%. With the remaining 70%, I will wait till last few days of the auction and I will contribute the rest based on how big the reward per one dot will be. Basically for me, crowd loans on Kusama and Polkadot are a constant game theory with other contributors. Please let me know what is your strategy for centrifuge. Are you crowd loaning or will you get CFG tokens from the market? Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.